Hi friends, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade bubble wand. Sometimes when you're at home and you want to play with bubbles, you might not have everything you need. So if you don't have the bubble solution, all you need is dish soap and water. And if you don't have a bubble wand like this, that is perfectly okay because in my video today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one. So I chose to use pipe cleaner and I thought that this kind, the shiny ones, worked better in the solution. And I also have some beads if you wanna decorate it. Let's get started. So to make the first one, you're going to choose two pipe cleaners. I chose red and silver. And you're going to twist them around each other and if you need help your grown-up can help you so i'm just going to keep twisting and twisting until there's nothing left to twist okay and then it should look like this and then at the top, what you're going to do, now this is how you make the wand part and my cat's trying to join. I think he is very interested in the bubble wands. Okay, now to make the wand part, what you're going to do, and we're gonna make different shapes today, is you're going to bend it down. Almost looks like a candy cane. And then you're going to twist this little piece around the wand itself so it's tight and then you can bend it to make a shape and this shape is who can tell me what shape i'm making that's right a circle and if you want, you can decorate the wand part, the holder, you can put some beads on. Just string them through. You can do different colors. You can make a pattern. Okay, so I put on a few beads and then you can finish, you can go all the way down and then to make sure they don't fall off, just bend the bottom upwards like a U and squeeze it together. That way they don't fall off. And this is our first wand. So let's see what shape my bubbles will come out if we blow through the circle part. So I'm gonna pour in some bubble solution on my plate. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna get out my paper towel because it might be messy. All right, here we go. I'm going to dip my wand in. Let's see. And you know that it's ready if you see a shiny film in the circle part. Then you know you have enough bubbles. Oh, and it popped. Let's try it again. It made a circle shaped bubble. Did you see that? All right, let's make our next shape. I'm going to grab gold and green. And again, I'm going to twist them around each other. And my cat is watching. I think he likes the shiny part. Oh. And he's coming to join again. Dusty, you cannot play with this. I think he thinks it's a cat toy. All right, let's put Dusty down. Okay, so I made my green and gold one. 
Now again, you're going to bend the top to make it look like a candy cane. And you're going to take the little piece that's sticking out on the side and just bend it around the handle. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's going to look like an, what shape is this? This is our circle and this is an oval, that's right. So what shape bubbles do you think will come out if we blow on the oval wand? Who thinks they will come out looking like an oval? Raise your hand. Okay, let's see. Who thinks they're gonna come out looking like a circle? All right, we will see. I'm gonna dip my wand in my bubble solution. I don't think I grabbed enough. Okay, here we go. Watch closely. And my cat's knocking stuff over. Whoop, it popped. Let's get some more bubbles. Well, I don't know, let's see. I hope this will work for you. This one's not working, boys and girls. Let's see. Well, I don't know what's going on with this one. I'm not sure why the oval is not working. I don't know. I'm not sure if we will figure out whose answer is right. Hmm, not working. Let me try one more time. Maybe they only work with circle wands. All right, this one is not working. Let's see if another shape will work. We'll do golden, silver. And maybe this time we'll try making a heart wand. Let's see if the heart wand will work. So I'm twisting the pipe cleaner around themselves. Okay. And now I'm bending it. Remember making it look like a candy cane. Get it nice and tight when you twist it around. And now I'm going to shape it into a heart. There's my heart shaped wand. Let's see if this one works, boys and girls. We're gonna dip it in. Let's see. I don't know. This one's not working either. Let's give it a few tries. Oh, what shape was that starting to look like? I thought it looked like a circle, but let's see. Maybe it will come out looking like a heart. Nope. started to look like a circle, right? I didn't see a heart-shaped bubble. Let's see. Whoop. They just keep popping. So maybe only circle-shaped wands work. I don't know. Maybe if I hold it sideways, that will help. Nope. Should I try holding it upside down? Let's see. That didn't work either. Oh no. I'm not sure boys and girls. This is my first time making it and we're just experimenting. 
but it looks like only the circle wand is really working. Oh, they came out shaped like a circle. Wow. So now we know even if we make an oval wand or a heart shaped wand, the bubbles will always come out shaped like a circle. That's right. Only shapes like a circle. Maybe it works best if it's upside down. Oh, I don't know. Trying to get it to work one more time. Nope, that didn't work. Should we try one more shaped wand? Okay, give me a shape. What shape do you think I should make? Okay, let's see if I can make a square. Let's give it a try. So we know that the circle wand makes circle bubbles. And we just saw after a few tries that the heart shaped wand makes circle shaped bubbles as well. Isn't that silly? I thought it was going to make heart shaped bubbles. My guess was wrong. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, we twisted it red and green and let's try to make a square shaped do you think we could try to make square shaped bubbles i don't know let's see hmm i might have to put this down to shape it Okay, boys and girls, here is my square shaped wand. I did the best I could. Let's see if we can get bubbles out of this wand. Here we go. And I can see that it's shiny, so that means it's, I don't know if you can see it, but that means it's ready to blow. Oh, and I think I actually popped it. Okay, let's see. Mm, let's try again. Whoop, that popped in my face. I don't know. Oh, did you see what shape that made? It also made a circle. So no matter what shape your wand is, it seems that it only makes circle bubbles. So interesting. Let's try again. Oh, it popped it. That started to look like a circle. Oh. Should we try upside down again? That worked one time with the heart. Nope. I think the circle shaped wand worked the best. What do you think, boys and girls? Oop. That looked like a circle. Okay, well, I'll give it one more try. We'll see if we can get some really big bubbles out of this wand. Oh, that was a little one and it was shaped like a circle. So that was pretty fun. We made a few different shaped wands. This, which one worked best? Which shaped wand? The circle, the heart, the oval, or the square? The circle one did work the best, that's right. 
And we saw with our heart-shaped one and our square-shaped one, even though they're shaped like hearts and squares, what shape were the bubbles that came out? They were shaped like circles. That's right, so interesting. All right, so hopefully you boys and girls will have fun making your wands. Maybe you'll have better luck. And I hope you enjoyed my project. Bye.